in five, four, three, two. Hey, I'm Nathan Kress from iCarly, and today I am going to revisit and react to some of my classic moments. Let's check them out. Oh, the hair. Oh, what is this action? And it's just going. I was startled, not scared. Oh, it makes me physically uncomfortable. Be prepared. Oh, sure. Everybody jokes about the white balance till the skin tones go magenta. Jeez. Worked on my Sam, so hard. What you don't see. I'm not doing it. Oh, I I'm chucked it. Whoa, strong choice. I should start doing that in more auditions. I mean, you might as well just be saying, hire me. Obviously, that's that worked. They were on the fence until the, the script chuck happened. That was total commitment. And the hair. The hair was total commitment, too. Oh. I think my first line on iCarly was, you dropped this. When Carly is coming home down the hallway to her apartment and she dropped her water bottle and this. Creepy Freddy is there definitely not looking in the poop hole and he like very eagerly grabs it and push, shoves it in her face and says, you, you dropped this. It doesn't get much better after that. Freddy is just being Freddy. Poor guy. We can be buds, but you gotta get over this crush thing. I am over it, seriously. Oh my God. I'm in love with you, you just wanna be friends, and I'm totally cool living with that constant pain. He's not cool with it. I think we've we've learned over many seasons that Freddy is decidedly not cool with it. I actually remember when we first shot that scene, it was the first scene that I rehearsed, and I don't know if it was a combination of the fact that it was just really cold on set or that I was really nervous, but I was shaking, like quaking during the entire rehearsal. But I was like holding up the bottle and like all of my hands were just going absolutely insane. I think a lot of Freddy energy was actually just me that I couldn't even contain and it just became evident on screen. Fortunately, I think by like season two, we both chilled out a little bit. Oh, you can like Bye, you already see the tears in my eye bags on this. Oh, this was rough. Oh, the shuffle. This actually was not scripted. This was at the last second they decided to do this. It was gonna be just a normal, like Carly and Sam going into the elevator. Yeah, I remember that, that was tough. I was pretty, right there, I'm pretty sure you can tell I was like actively. Love you, guys. Love you too. Love you too, kid. And that was so legit saying that, like, I, I mean, for at least me personally, that was a very true statement. Like, everybody was pretty devastated. Oh, man. Oh, that's bringing up some memories. Jeez. We wrapped up this big awesome thing and we got to have a goodbye episode and so many shows don't get to do that, but that honestly made it harder. The guys were like trying to be really chill about it. We were just like silently crying in the back, <laughs> like just wiping tears away and everything. I wish I could have seen my face cause it contorted into this thing that I could probably never recreate, but I just started like ugly crying. <laughs> It starts with Freddy counting down. So it goes in five, four, three, two. Doom, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, doom, ka, doom. I know you see somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. Ding, ding, ding. Live life, breathe air. I know somehow we're gonna get there and feel so wonderful. It's all for real, I'm telling you just how I feel. I always like that part. So wake up the members of my nation. It's your time to be. There's no chance unless you take one and the time to see the brighter side of every situation. Some things are meant to be, so give me your best and leave the rest to me. Leave it all to me, leave it all to me. Just leave it all to me. And then we would do something. We'd be jumping on trampolines and throwing bananas or some such sort. I, I feel like I'd probably want to be Captain Man. He's got a pretty sweet job. One, indestructible. If I wasn't indestructible, believe me, I'd have been, you know, destructed. <laughs> Two, he fights crime, which is pretty sweet. So he's like helping people. Three, he's got a schwaz. Who doesn't want a schwaz? I need a schwaz in my life to build me stuff. Shoot. Just aim at the tray's neck and pull the trigger. Ugh, that's tough. That's like picking your favorite child. One of my favorites was, I think it was called I Shock America. We filmed partially outside, because the big thing was, like Carly, we shot on a soundstage, and even when we were supposed to be like in Japan, we were in our parking lot. So we shot on our set, but then we also shot 
at Paramount on their like New York Street for a part where we were like in front of our hotel. I almost got hit by a cab. That was fun. It was a cool little stunt. And then we flew to New York to be on Jimmy Fallon's set and shot an episode as if it was the iCarly cast on Jimmy Fallon, which was super cool. My favorite iCarly webcast segment was Baby Spencer. Anything with Baby Spencer. So basically anytime you're watching a Baby Spencer segment where we're just messing with him in the crib, you're basically looking at like a five minute long blooper. We're not in character at all. And we're just doing a horrible things to Jerry Trainer. That poor guy, but he committed, he made it funny. So those, those are always some of my fonder memories. Probably not Jerry's though. Oh, good heavens! Baby Lumpley has green fish stuck in his gullet. I'll heimlich his tummy! <laughs> that wasn't very sophisticated. I have strong culinary thoughts on spaghetti tacos. They are delicious. We made some baller spaghetti tacos. Cause that's the problem that I've had. When you get those store-bought taco shells, they just kind of fall apart and your spaghetti all falls out the back. But if you could like custom craft, like kind of a wider mouthed taco shell, you'd be in some pretty good shape. Freddie should have ended up with a very nice, normal, not complicated girl, have a nerdy little life together and binge watch streaming shows without Freddy having to worry about getting punched in the face or uh, that suddenly his girlfriend would uh, decide that she didn't like him anymore. If he was smart and if I could advise him on anything, it would, it would be to maybe just pull back and, and meet somebody else or just stay with his mother, cause she's safe. To be honest, I feel like a lot of the tech things that we talked about on iCarly were completely fake. <laughs> We invented a lot of vernacular that probably is never really used. And we are transparent. Clear. I remember like one of our first episodes we did was where Freddie had to like live auto-tune a really bad singer's voice. And it was just this little like box. And I was just like doing dials like up and down like, hey guys, I can fix it. I'm a little bit uh, uh, ashamed of my lack of knowledge actually. Honestly, most of the camera work was even super fake. Normally when you're doing camera work, you have the camera like up here, but it would always block my face. So they actually ended up having me hold the camera down here and I couldn't even like see what was going on in the lens. So I was basically just guessing at what I would have been shooting if I was actually rolling. Yeah, I hate to burst anybody's bubble, but Freddie was faking it from day one. <laughs> Special 3D effects by iCarly's technical producer, Fredward Benson. That's me! <laughs> oh no, no. I have tried so hard and it just, it just ends up with me punching myself in the throat. We did the Nickelodeon cruises a couple times and Tom Kenny was there and he'd always like try to teach us how to like, ah, like, and, but then my throat just hurts. You have to be really careful because you can like send yourself to the emergency room with that stuff. So uh, no, can't do it. I've, I've gone through enough throat trauma already uh, trying to do it in, in my past years as a Nickelodeon youth. Follow Nick Rewind for more throwback Nickelodeon. Here we go. Oh, and anybody who wasn't in the other room, just so you know, I'm not infecting you. It's the super bloom, so this is all allergies. Oh, so I'm not making you sick. It's the poppies. I've had it for a month. Not to worry. <laughs>